beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here then i'm so happy to meet you welcome to my little pop-up boutique once again here for one day and one day only so today's video is very kindly sponsored by i saw it first which has actually become one of my favorite online stores hello everyone sorry to abruptly interrupt but i've got complete christmas brain and i forgot to mention something you guys might love so i saw it first have actually been doing some really exciting stuff over the past months and they have teamed up with capital extra run a competition for emerging female artists to win 25k in a music video. The music videos are going to be released really really soon so keep your eyes peeled for those. But yeah I really wanted to share that with you just because I think it's so important especially in the world we live in today to celebrate the success of other people. So let's be supportive, create a little bit of girl power and I'll leave a link in the description for you to find out a little bit more about it. Oh my god guys I am so bloated today. I'm genuinely struggling to stand up. I feel like my stomach is weighing me down there's two possible reasons for this a it's that thing that women have or b i ate an entire sack of chocolate coins last night and i don't do very well with dairy but i just can't stop eating the freaking chocolate coins you see me kind of like hunched over or if you see me looking like i've got like an eight month pregnant stomach then let's just try and ignore the fact i feel like i'm gonna pop any second so today's video is of course christmas themed we are all feeling super festive over on this channel and i thought it would be a fun idea to kind of like cover an outfit for every occasion this christmas so in my little pop-up shop today we have got a range of outfits we've got a christmas day outfit which is super cozy for kind of like at home with the family i've also covered a daytime outfit for christmas markets garden centers christmasy lunches stuff like that then we've got some party items i know who even am i i know that a lot of people have christmas parties coming up this year and i probably will show my face and go out at least once this year so i'm probably gonna be wearing one of these and then of course i got the ultimate cozy outfit because tis the season to be cozy and warm and snuggly and yes so before we get into this video, you beautiful, beautiful people, make sure you are cosy, make sure you've got a cup of tea, you got the snacks, the candles are lit, and you are ready to see me try a load of clothes on, basically. I feel, I feel like Angel bloody Gabriel in this top. Okay, outfit one is incoming, incoming. So outfit number one is, of course, the best day of the entire year, which is Christmas Day. I always am at home, cosy, eating and drinking way too much on Christmas Day, living my best sloth life in the comfiest clothes I can get my hands on, but I also want to look nice. So Christmas Day outfit in three, two, one. That's one. <laughs> Okay, so outfit number one is, of course, a loungewear cold set. I just think it looks nice, it's comfy, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. And I love an all-white outfit, I just think it looks really fresh and just really Christmassy. There's something about white that makes me think of Christmas. I'm going to step back and show you the trousers in a moment. This comes as a two-piece set. I got this in a size 10, it is slightly big, I kind of wish I'd gone for an 8. But on Christmas Day I don't want anything tight fitting so it's probably better that I did go for a bigger size. I love the shape of this top first of all, I love that the sleeves are kind of flared, I love the crop length and it's also a really like soft material and it's also ribbed which i love and then the bottoms are wide leg these are so high waisted and they also come with this tie detail here which is so nice because it just pinches you in at the middle these are actually high waisted goals they come up to my boob like i'm feeling so secure and tucked in right now and even though i've got the blow it feels nice around my stomach like it doesn't feel tight which is an absolute no for me on Christmas Day because best believe I'm going to be eating everything in sight. I feel like you could keep this outfit very casual with trainers or you could also wear a heel if you wanted to dress it up a little bit. Now to go with this for ultimate coziness, I also picked up this little stone cardigan with balloon sleeves which I absolutely love. Okay so this is the cardigan on, I love like the baggy sleeves. So this is 1 million percent going to be my outfit for Christmas day. I love how cosy it is but I think it also looks like you've made an effort. Like it's not like you're bowling up or Christmas day in pyjamas. Even though to be honest after Christmas dinner best believe i'm getting them grinch pajamas on straight away to be honest this outfit for me is cozy classy 
Christmas, basically. Okay, so it's time for outfit number two. That's four, two. Okay, so the next outfit I'm gonna show you, I actually can't stop smiling because I am wearing a dress, number one. I'm in love with this outfit, like, so much. So, outfit number two, I feel like is my favorite because I've got this hang up about dresses where I just don't think they ever suit me. I never feel nice in them. I always feel like super frumpy. And it's very rare that I find a dress that I just feel nice in. And as soon as I put this on, I actually can't stop smiling because this is my kind of dress. I feel like really pretty in this. And I don't really say that very often. I don't really like compliment myself like that very often, if you know what I mean. So my vibe for this outfit was kind of like a daytime outfit. You know when you want to look nice but you want to feel really, really comfortable? So I would wear this maybe for a little shopping trip, going around all the Christmas garden centres. I know I keep saying it but I just can't wait to do that. Into Wonderland, Christmas markets, that kind of thing. But when I actually tried this full outfit on, it's quite dressy so you could actually wear this to dinner or if you go out for like lunch on Christmas day, then you could wear it then. So first things first, this is the dress. It's so, so lovely. I think it's so flattering as well because it has this tie detail. Now you can take this off and just wear it kind of as a shift dress because it doesn't have any like holes here for the belt. Um, so you could wear it really loosely, which I think also looks really cute because of the frill detail. Or I personally like to wear the belt because I think it just gives you a little bit more shape. You can pull it really, really tight and make your waist look really, really small. Or you can kind of just have it like a normal person would wear it and not do that. The sleeves are also really, really flattering. I always find anything that has a slight like shoulder pad or a detailed sleeve just, it instantly makes you look slimmer. And I'm all about that. I'm all about that line. And then I've also just put on some tights as well because it's like minus two degrees outside. And if you have bare legs in this weather, you are genuinely crazy. But I think this dress would be good for spring as well. You could wear it with no tights. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. So the boots that I've got in my hand, I don't think I've ever been in love with a pair of boots in my life. I'm very, very picky when it comes to boots. Um, especially like high leg ones. How insane are they? So these kind of like stop at your knee. They're not over the knee, but they're still like a high boot. Crocodile print, they're shiny, they're pointed toe. Oh my God, I just walked up and down my corridor which is only about this long, but they were comfy. Like, I think because this heel is, I wondered what that was then, it was the top of the boot hitting me in the head. I think because the heel is like this, they're almost like wearing a wedged heel, which are so comfortable and easy to walk in. I also picked up the world's most adorable bag. I thought this would go so nicely with the boots because it's the same kind of pattern. And I don't actually have a little bag like this, so I thought this would just be really handy if I'm like popping out for the day and I don't need to take the whole world and the kitchen sink with me honestly my handbags are an actual they're a bit embarrassing to be honest like there are things in there that i just can't even talk about right now but with this one this might stop me putting unnecessary things in my bag and then the big finale i picked up a new coat not like i need any more coats because I could open up a coat shop, I'm telling you, I've got so many. A coat that I don't actually have is just an oversized, really plain, I would say this is almost like a blazer, it feels like a real oversized blazer. It's a really soft material as well and it's lightweight, so if you do take it out with you and it gets a little bit hot or whatever, you can just take it off and you're not going to be like lugging it around. So I'm going to put the whole outfit on so you can see it in all of its glory. Are you ready for the grand reveal? Off back I go! Oh my god, I need to remember that I've got heels on and last time I nearly knocked myself out on this wall. Oh, perfect! These ceilings are really inconvenient. I don't really know if I can go any further back without kind of like laying like this. Okay, this is going to sound so cheesy and I hate myself for saying this before I've even said it, but this outfit gives me that feeling that I haven't had in a really long time. You know when you put something on and it just makes you feel really good and you actually feel like you look really, really nice in it? I am, I actually feel like I'm gonna get a bit mosh. How ridiculous. I think I'm definitely, I think it's definitely that time of the month. I am the biggest critique of myself ever and I might not seem like it on camera, but I do pick myself apart a lot. Like, a lot of the time I'm like, oh, no, Gemma, that doesn't suit you, no. Like, I don't like my body in that. I don't like this about myself and that about myself. And I am actually really, really harsh on myself. And 
this outfit I actually feel like really really nice in and I know that's cheesy but I just wanted to kind of like tell you how much of a good feeling that is so yeah this is going to be my Christmas market outfit i really really love it you could also switch the coat if it was a little bit too dark for you i personally love an all black outfit i think it looks really classy really sophisticated darling also i was thinking you could change this coat for a white one just so you've got a little bit more color but i just love this outfit so bloody much it makes me want to actually go out the house it makes me want to leave my sofa turn netflix off and go outside and that does not happen often okay my loves we are now on to the party dresses so this is probably the first and the last time you're gonna see me in a party dress um that's actually a massive lie because i have a few more videos planned for you but i am excited i feel like i've kind of let myself go of it recently and i don't really get dressed up and go out and i feel like i should do that more maybe okay everyone I feel like i'm being ridiculously dramatic in this video it's only a try on haul gemma you don't need to get this passionate so the first dress that i picked up is this gorgeous baby pink satin high neck dress i love this whole vibe so much i feel like i'm on princess diaries or something like this is such a beautiful dress it also comes in black as well which I think I'm gonna need to get to. I also think as well, because it has this piece of material in the middle, which I can't really go back enough to show you, but this goes down to like my knee. This is quite a short dress, but I feel like this piece of material just makes it look a little bit more classier. And then this dress is actually backless as well. Oh my God, I've just realized I haven't tanned my back. That's embarrassing. I just saw it in the camera and was like, ah, no one ever really sees my back. So I just don't tan it, but maybe i should start oh we're all friends here who cares you can see my patchy back i've moved back a bit so you can see the back a little bit better and then to go with this dress i thought what better than a gold sparkly mini little clutch bag i love baby pink and gold together so much this is such a nice little size as well and i love the really delicate strap i just think they'll look so nice together and then i also picked up these stunning earrings these were super affordable i think they were only a couple of pounds um, but I think these will just look so nice with this outfit. Okay, so here's the earrings with the dress. I think hair all over one side would look really, really nice as well. Or I'd potentially wear my hair up because I think there's a lot of detail around the neck, which I think would be a shame not to show that. Like I said, I think this outfit would be perfect for a Christmas party, a nice dinner, or if you're not really too keen on blush pink, they have black as well, which would look absolutely stunning. For shoes, I picked up these, which are just some clear heels. They are quite high for me. Um, a little bit scared about how i'm gonna get on walking in these but who cares it's christmas who cares if you can't walk i feel like these are a must-have i think a clear heel just goes with absolutely everything not gonna lie i've heard these steam up when it's warm and i'm excited for my shoes to steam up is that weird i just think it'll be hilarious okay so the next dress is christmas in a dress like this is the most partyish dress i think i've ever put on my body but it's very, very booby. I'm not really in the mood to show the whole of the internet my boobs today, or any day actually for that matter. Don't really fancy a nip slip, so I'm gonna keep my hands here. Um, if I had boob tape, I could take them away. But you can kind of see a little bit better here. Ooh, you can see how glittery it is, but you can also see how low cut it is. So this is a blaze dress, so they do tend to be quite low cut. Okay, I feel weird like this. Maybe I should that's even weirder that could work okay excuse my hair beard you do have lovely little boobs that just sort of stay in place then i'm jealous because i wish i had them um but you probably won't need boob tape if you have got bigger boobs you're probably going to need a bit of boob tape or something like that i love how glittery this dress is it's so pretty this is like a blazer dress style so you've got your little tie detail around here which again is so flattering because it just nips you in at the waist and then the arms are really lovely as well because they're not fitted. They're kind of a little bit flary and then they go in at your wrists. I am terrible at describing things, aren't I? They're a little bit flary and they go in at your wrists. I think this dress would be absolutely stunning for either New Year or Christmas party or something like that. It's so glittery, but it's not, 
it's not too glittery oh my god look how gorgeous it looks from the back it's so sparkly and then last but definitely not least i know you've all been eyeing it up on the end there since i probably started but would it really be a Gemma louise miles haul if i didn't include a pair of pajamas i feel like this time of year is all about being cosy at home and wearing the biggest fluffiest pajamas that you can get your hands on these are insane and i would quite like to say that i'm a little bit of a pajama expert actually because i spend 99.9% .9 of my life in them and i can confirm ladies and gents that these are the pajamas that you need this year they are so warm like i am genuinely sweating a little bit because i'm standing in front of lights and it i'm just feeling very overwhelmed at how much i love these pajamas so in the set you get a hoodie and so get the matching trousers which it's just the coziest pajama set I've ever put on. I feel like an actual human bear. I just want you to cuddle me because it's just so cozy. I also need to put the hood up for full effect. Oh my god, I love them even more. I said I'm going to link absolutely everything in the description box below. I feel like I'm going to wear these on Christmas Day evening, ready for the cheese board, the cheese and wine. So my loves, we have reached the end of today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Comment below what your favourite outfit of today's haul was. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!